attempts. Sentencing procedures in his drug dealing case are scheduled to start mid-February. In August, he was found guilty of attempted murder, kidnapping and intent to deal in drugs. Well, three Hawks officers are among those convicted. The case relates to a full drug deal in 2013 in which Becky Temba Lukela was assaulted and kidnapped. This after Lukela's brother, Doctor, disappeared with Kretcher's stick. <laughs> A heavy security detail. Police always geared for an escape attempt. A confident Czech fugitive at the start of his trial, treated to regular meals from home. Two years on, a slew of legal battles appears to be taking its toll, compounded by the absence of his deported wife and son. August 24th, his first conviction. All the accused before me should be found guilty. In his ruling, Judge Colin Lamont found the testimonies of witnesses reliable. When they approached me... Lukele was indeed assaulted when Kretcher poured boiling water over him. It's not correct. But the state failed to prove that the Czech fugitive knew that the bag contained tuck. The judge dismissed claims of a conspiracy against them. Lamont repeatedly criticized police conduct. The investigation of the police was poor. There were sources of information which could have been collected and used. There were leads which were not followed and there was objective evidence which was not obtained. In and out of prison, Kretcher continued causing controversy, from daring escape plots to 11th hour delaying tactics to evade jail time. We were even informed um, that actress number one terminated the mandate with, uh, uh, cancer, with his cancer. And that is done only today, knowing very well that we are supposed to start with the, pres pres with the sentencing proceedings today. Some impact on the Presiding over the stop-start case since June last year, Lamont's patience tested to the limit. The accused should know that there comes an end towards, there comes an end of continued postponements. They have been convicted, they are convicts, they need to be sentenced and dealt with as persons who have been convicted and sentenced, you say it makes a difference? Yes. Well then they definitely need to be sentenced earlier rather than later. But Kretcher and his legal team remained unfazed. There are instructions at this stage of the proceedings unfortunately to have to apply to this honourable court for a postponement. The same delaying tactics from his indecisiveness around legal representation to outstanding pre-sentencing reports. Another issue raised, funds transferred to the country by Kretcher's mother for his legal fees, frozen. The whole of September, whole of October, whole of no uh, and half of November. And he only gets the money sent across on the 27th of October. Yes, this is the man, just wait, just wait, it was not. This was the man who told us in court when he was cross-examined about his um, activities during the day that he had millions in the, I think, in the United Kingdom. So where are these millions? Why are they not here? Why has he not made arrangements? Authorities believe Kretcher is set on avoiding jail time. Uh, the only thing on Kretcher's mind right now is to escape. There's absolutely nothing else that he's got in mind. He's not interested in the proceedings here. All he wants is to get out of prison and go wherever he's planned to go. But uh, our team is on top of the situation and we're quite confident that um, we will be able to foil whatever plans that he's got in place. It's the first matter the Czech will be sentenced for in a South African court. For the two-year-old stop-start case, there appears to be no end in sight. This is the fourth postponement of sentencing. For Kretcher, a three-month reprieve before he is a sentenced convict. Kretcher faces several other legal battles. He is accused of the murder of Zimbabwean debt collector Pumlani Nube and conspiring to kill his investigator Colonel Kosana Kilekimba. Several months ago, he was charged with the murder of Lebanese national Sam Issa in 2013. His extradition matter is pending. Kretcher has been seeking asylum in South Africa since 2007. I, I submit my luck. Can you say that? In the current drug dealing matter, the prosecution will argue for the harshest possible sentence. For dealing in drugs where the value is more than 50,000 rand, 
you could have a minimum sentence imposed of up to 15 years. Uh, but heavy fines can also be imposed for dealing uh, as well as um, possession. But the court, as I say, must balance all the factors. Sentencing proceedings were postponed to the 22nd of February. Chilean Palais, SABC News, Johannesburg.